Okay, so this is the back, one of the back seams. It's gonna be um, uh, gonna be pressed open. So that's why I'm surging this. I wasn't sure whether to do French seams or but it's gonna be pockets on the front. So. Um, I picked some pretty threads, different threads, to try to make it look nice. Okay. So my thread, I have like several different colors that are in the fabric, I have a variegated thread, and then I have a purple, a yellow, and like an orangey color. It kind of gets all these colors here. So that's what it looks like finished. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, so I'm interfacing with some light fusible interfacing the uh, the front piece two of them two of them will be interfaced so i'm kind of doing this um i actually got this at walmart this interfacing because i didn't have any white so i'm just going to kind of press it on here and then cut it out <laughs> cut the interfacing out it's like a skinny piece of interfacing which is a little bit different, but I'll make it easy to cut it out. Just got it on my ironing board table, cutting it out. That way you can get it fit just right. Okay, so I just kind of pressed it and then I cut around it and got my pattern piece that way. and I'm, and um, now I'm actually going to fuse it. So I'm looking at the instructions. Okay, that's my fused piece. Okay, I'm right at step one now. Um, and I am stay stitching around these um, uh, jacket piece um, A. And I'm going to be uh, actually um, on piece one and um, I'm going to be connecting piece one and two. Those are the first two, two steps. So I'm doing the, this is the stay stitching on my interfaced jacket piece. And I'll be doing it on the uninterfaced jacket piece. I've got my purple thread in here, but I actually am using a pre-wound bobbin that's white. Um, just because my bobbin, I've been having trouble getting it just the way I want it. So, I've got a normal stitch length here. This is just a stay stitch line.
Okay, I'm doing my seam at the top, five eighths of an inch, at the top of these little shoulder pieces here, right here, first step. Pressing that open. This is the interfaced portion. This is going to be pressed open here, like that. Pressed open. I'm just going to finger press it a little bit. Hi everyone, Maggie here. Um, I'm just doing some pinning now. I'm piecing. I'm uh, pinning the right sides of the piece one to piece two, which is the jacket for the jacket A, which is the front piece, and I'm doing the uninterfaced. Um, the uninterfaced uh, piece, okay. Um, so we're just pinning that together. Okay. I am now sewing piece one to piece two, which is the uninterfaced piece to the sleeve piece. <laughs> as soon as my machine light goes on, everything like goes dark with my camera and I'm sorry about that. Back stitch a little bit. This is about five eight I'm doing it like a little less than five eighths of an inch because I shaved off um some of the seam with the serger. So just a little less. I'll be doing this to both pieces for the front of the jacket. I don't know if I'm going to show that, but I'll be doing both. And I'll be pressing this open, this seam open. Okay, so this is the other front seam, and we're going to just whip through it. Do a little back stitch there. Hi everyone. I'm actually gonna skip ahead here. Um, it, I'm gonna. I'm, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put the pockets on yet. I think I am, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the back pieces together, piece five and four and five, um, and get those sewn together, um, which is step six. And then maybe I'll go back to um the pockets because i'm gonna have to spend a lot of time on those actually to get them just the way i want if i'm gonna do them so let's see okay so so i have my back piece here with these seams finished okay and i'm gonna stay stitch around the neck that's the next step and then i'll be pinning this to the uh, sleeve piece. Okie dokie. 
Okay, just doing my stay stitching around this neck edge. Here. This is five eighths of an inch. I'm just pinning these pieces together, these two pieces, which are, what piece number are they? Four, four, which is the back that was cut on the fold, and five, which is the back sleeve piece. Okay. Okay, I am sewing this back seam here. So, slightly less than, since I did shave off a little bit of it, I'm going doing it a little less than 5 eighths of an inch, just a tad less. Okay, this is the second back seam. Okay, I'm going ahead to step seven. Um, so I'm pinning the this sleeve, you know, the front and the back together. Um, and then after that, I put the the front facing on. Um, so I'm pinning at where these seams meet, um, and then there's notches. Um, pinning those together, and then I will be serge finishing the seam um, afterwards. Um, I won't be pressing them open like the other ones. Um, there's kind of like a funny turn right here that you have to do. And I'm going to probably do it in two steps rather than trying to make a turn at that place. So right now I'm just pinning it. Um, so let's see. I've got my two seam allowances here, my two, I mean my front and the back, and I want to make sure that they meet up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. Alright. Okay. Now, this is clipped. Okay, this is the neck. And I'm probably going to just do this in two steps, I think. I'm going to just go off the corner here and then come back. So, because I think that's, I can get the best corner that way. So these edges are raw because I'm going to be finishing them afterwards, closed. Because there's going to be, they're at like the top of the sleeve and there's going to be a lot of wear and tear on them. So I think it's better just to 
I'll just serge them together with a pretty thread, pretty colored thread, and afterwards, after I do a, the seam with um, my regular machine. Okay, I'm just sewing the tops of the sleeves here, right at five eighths of an inch. I didn't shave anything off of this, and I will be surging it to clean it up. It's gonna be surge clothes. From people dropping a bomb to people putting up walls. I feel like life is on hall. Perception stuck in a vault. I know that time can heal all, but how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside when there's no shelter to hide. When everything is a lie, you'll find that out in some time. But when the things on your mind are all considered a crime, communication aside, we'll all just fight till we die. Is this an argument or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it. Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this. I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this. Is this an argument or just the start of it? I want to drive away so I can be so far from it. I want to find a place where no one breaks their promises. Or maybe drive myself in something that is bottomless. Okay, I got my needle in right at that spot at uh, the corner of the uh, stay stitching that I cut to. I'm going to just do like a little... Stitch, double, stitch, not a back tack, but just a kind of a tack there. And we're gonna head down the top of the other top of the sleeve here. And then I'm gonna work on that corner. A greater thirst, a hunger, pain, and mercy. Just find whatever you got and try to be thankful first. I wanna feel again. I need a couple friends. I never really understood just how the story ends. But I could feel his tense. Don't know the consequence. The volatility of life, my only confidence. Is this an argument or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it. Okay, Can I just I'm get some space? I don't have the heart for this. I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this. my knees. In a little bit ahead of that turn. I'm gonna have to take the two sleeveless stitches and redo the turn. Way back before we blew it all. So this is how my corners turned out. I guess that this one looks pretty good, um, and I haven't done any any clipping. I'll be doing some clipping on here on this portion, um, and this one is okay. It's not quite as nice as the other one, but it's, it'll pass. I think it'll pass inspection. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just pinning together the underarm seam area here. I'm going to be sewing that and I'm going to be serging that also on both sides. Oops. After I sew it, I'm just going to surge it, I think, and I probably won't have to clip it because it's not that, really that um, curvy. I mean, it's curvy, but it's, I think I can manage it by clipping it. Okay, dokie. Okay, just sewing these seams underneath here, five-eighths of an inch. Okay. This is the underarm. First one. This is the other uh, under seam. Okie dokie, just surging these seams to make it nice and clean. These I'm not going to have open at all. Okay. I'm going to kind of go kind of close to the stitching line just to clean it up.
Um, I'm actually going to skip ahead to step 13. I haven't decided how I'm going to finish these sleeves yet. I have to have the person try it on. I may just hem them instead of doing this fancy schmancy band like that. Um, so what I am doing is I'm attaching this interfaced lining to the jacket or actually it's more like a shirt um, and it has like an interesting little detail which is like a V which I just chalked in here um, you can't really see it very well on camera I don't guess and there so I'll be sewing that in and it's like a little split so next step is going to be pinning this onto the jacket okay just doing my pinning together pieces here Okay, I am sewing that facing step 13. Okay. a little bit. I did actually end up winding the bobbin because the um, so I have purple on the in the bobbin as well purple thread and the, because the white pre pre wound bobbin where there's such a convenience um, the thread is a little bit lighter and the tension was not quite as good, so I ended up having to bite the bullet and actually wind it. Now I have this dart here, or it's actually not a dart, it's like a, a V. I don't want to sew right past it by accident. Whoops. Okay. Oh! Can't even see what I'm doing here. Here we are. Okay, so we're sewing this uh, facing, the interfaced one, onto the shirt, which is the step 13 here, right here. And I'm coming up to the dart. Or not, it's not a dart, it's like a it's actually like a notch, a big old notch in the collar. So gotta go here, stop here, and pivot. Okay. All right. Pivot. 
of it. Okay, we got to the little V there and we turned around and I'm going back out the other side. Peanut factory today. I <laughs> no laughing? Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm just trying to finish your mom's top, your mom's jacket. Little outfit. do a little bit of under stitching but I am actually not sure if I'm <laughs> if I'm gonna do under stitching or not um, because I'm afraid it's gonna show when I when you fold the collar back so I'm just trimming this
little bit of clipping because this is kind of a curve. Just clip it a little bit. This is going to be turned under and whip stitched. Stitch. Is that, oh, well, it's not. Okay. Okay, we're right in there, but as close as possible, but not. There we go. Okay. I'm going to trim this. Okay. This side. Okay, so I haven't done any pressing or anything yet. These are the little, that's the little, how this little bee is turning out. Um, I think I actually will do a little bit of understitching. So this is actually going to roll out. So the understitching is going to go on this side. So I'm going to do it along the back here of the collar, um, along that back edge. And then a little bit down past the the uh, V here. Um, this gets turned under and hand stitched. Um, so uh, that will be the next thing, um, in including this p part here. So, yeah. But this is how the inside looks. It looks pretty good. Okay. I think actually I might even be able to cover up the seams on this, this, um, I'll have room to cover this seam up completely actually, <laughs> or almost cover it up, let's see, possibly, we'll see. <clears throat> okay, so I'm doing a little bit of the um, understitching here, I actually don't have that pulled the way. So the understitching is going on this side, since this is going to roll. I'm going to start in the middle and work my way back out. Okay, that's underneath. This is going to be folded down like that. do it on the collar piece here. I'm 
go as far up as I can here. <clears throat> this is going to be turned out. I think that's really just about as far as I can go. I think I'd rather tie my thread tails for that. Okay. Oh, just gotta go do the other side. And for this one, um, I have to start at this and I'm not crazy about that, but get this under here. I start at this end. This is the side that's going to be folded out. Up as close as I can to the. Ooh. Oh, I almost put the red. Some pressing with the tailor's ham. Okay. All right. I think that's pretty good. So it's going to go like this, and then this is going to roll. That's the collar, it's gonna roll out. That'll definitely make it a lot easier to press it, for sure. Okay, at this point I'm just doing some pressing. And um, so here um, I am just pressing the front. And at the bottom, um, I gotta press the hem up, but um, I'm kind of like justifying it to the inside until the collar rolls um, and then it's got to kind of go in this direction because <laughs> um, it's gonna this is gonna be the part that shows so yep okay so I'm doing this little corner here um, for the hem it's um, 16 um, step 16 um, and I have, I marked, I did some pressing here and I did a little marking. Um, so I'm taking this, it says to sew an inch and a quarter from the edge. So I'm going to be doing that. And then trim it and then I'll be able to do the hem. So I'm coming into the final stretch. That I have some little blue lines to follow. That I measured an inch and a half. It's a little lower than the line that I pressed, but I'll have to change my pressing line a little bit. I'll be doing this on both sides. do the cutout but I gotta leave a little allowance there okay okay I'm just doing the hem the bottom of the coat um, I'm actually gonna leave the the surged edge it's on the inside because um, it covers up the seam allowance completely so I'm just gonna leave it and it's gonna be tacked up, well mostly up at the top I might tack it's tack being tacked here so yeah so we'll do the hem um, I did do a little pressing in the beginning 
trying to find my presser foot. I got like several presser foots under here. Okay. Press this up so and measured it so it would be it's an inch and a quarter hem. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> slip stitching and I have this nice stay stitching line but I just got to make sure I whoops <laughs> that everything is flat I have that nice stay stitching line to go by to do this off camera okay so I am hemming the sleeves um, and we did a measure 
and we're just going to do like a half inch since this is like a casual top um, I measured we didn't want to take more than an inch off so I pressed up an inch and I'm just going to do a quick hem I've got my line my press line I'm starting on the inside where you can't see and it's just going to be like a half inch um, half inch hem <laughs> it's kind of pajama-y, so I think that should 